everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Button City. Last time we left off, uh, what exactly were we doing? I, 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 well, no, we helped out Chive, but what were we doing after that? I gotta head to the venue. There's currently not a story quest. Basil has his eyes on the Revolution Racer to leaderboard. Talk to Basil. There's not a story quest, huh? Oh yeah, we were supposed to just like head home and chill, right? Well, I'm gonna go uh, see if Basil wants to get owned in some revol Revolution Racer because um, <clears throat> I hate to break it to Basil, but I am the top dog at Revolution Racer. So they're just gonna have to move on over. Hey Basil, back off. You wanna buy a snack? No. Try finally get the wheel working. Good, I've been waiting. You knew? Of course, it's pretty obvious. I'm glad she can play now. Oh, that's sweet. She's going to be quick. I'll just have to be quicker. Can you see what Chive's fastest time is? Be sneaky about it. Uh, okay. Well, that's sweet. I'm glad, it, it, like Chive made it seem like the arcade wasn't going to be cool with modding it, but I'm, I'm glad that that, uh, that they're cool with it. You won't be me, but I need to practice to defeat Basil. Hey, Chive? What's up? Speed, speed! So Basil wants to know my time. Ah, how'd you know? You talk really loud. It's no secret that my time is currently at two flat. Let Basil know I'll catch up to him in no time. Okay. Well, I should be able to beat both of you, to be honest. Did you want to buy a snack? Revolution Racer? Two, not bad. But she has a long way to go to beat me. Can you tell Chive about boost drifting through the turns? That should gain her some time. Be discreet about it. Well, first I'm going, before before Chive gets better, I'm going to own her in Revolution Racer. You won't beat me, but I need to practice to defeat Basil. Let's go. You can try. Yeah, come on. You don't know about boosting? In this game all about drifting? Let's go, nerd. Uh-uh. Yeah, never stop drifting. Never stop. Always drift. Okay, drift more. Gotta keep that drift going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> never stop. Can't stop. Yeah. Yeah, no. No no one's going to be able to beat me, I don't think. Unless there's a character that's better at not hitting the walls while still drifting than me. But like, I can keep this drift going forever, which also means I can keep my boost going. I mean, I drop it sometimes, but it's not that bad, in all honesty. So I think I don't really have to be worried about many people. This may be the only game that I actually have in the bag, because... I'm awful at Dance Dance Revolution on the controller. Believe me, I've tried Dance Dance Revolution and Guitar Hero with a controller before when I didn't have the instruments. Awful at that shit. I just cannot. So, I'm glad there's at least one game in this arcade that I'm, like, kind of a prodigy at. Like, I just have the built-in skill set, because I wouldn't even really say I'm that good at Gobobots, which is the main game. So... I'd say this is, um, probably my forte. Yeah, look at that. Two minutes? Get out of here. Who's gonna be talking about my time? Huh? Hmm, I shouldn't underestimate you. Ooh, 500 pal points. Awesome. Alright, so now you. Oh yeah, we should tell Chive now. Uh, hi. There we go. You won't beat me, but I need the practice. Revolution Racer? You can try. Run away. Um, okay, so wait, I had to do the Hey Chive option. Hey Chive? Hey. Is it faster if you boost if you boost drift through the turns? You're bad at being discreet. Tell Basil I know about boost drifting. I'm still getting used to the hand controls. Uh, not again, I'll let him know. <laughs> 
I really am bad at being discreet. It would it would it would help if you if you weren't just walking over here speaking to Basil and then walking back to Chive. Like it's very obvious. She already knows about the boost drift. I guess she needs to find her race lines. Maybe we can help speed her up. Lighting a fire under her will make her more competitive. Challenge Chive without her knowing I told you to. Well, I've already beaten Chive though. Oh, I should have waited. Uh huh. Well, I guess I gotta beat you again, huh? You don't beat me, but I need to practice to defeat Basil. Yeah, you can try. Let's race. Yeah, I should have waited. Oh well, more pal points for me, I guess. I'll definitely be able to afford everything now. Uh, unfortunately for Basil, or, or I mean, unfortunately for Chive, this means I am going to have to absolutely decimate you. Because that's how arcades work. You don't go easy on them, you decimate them. At least that's what I've heard with fighting game communities in particular. It's like, no, don't go easy on the noobs. Destroy them so they have someone to look up to. <laughs> so, uh, I will do the same thing. So, let's go. This music's very good, actually. Fight. Oh no, my lap was worse. It was a worse first lap. My splits are looking horrible. How am I ever going to join the Button City speedrunning community with this? How? I always thought speedrunning was cool, but I never thought I would have the patience, or that I like any one game enough to actually speedrun it. Because to speedrun something, you have to like it a lot, or just be the type of person that just doesn't get tired of things. Um, because yeah, I definitely do get tired of things pretty quickly. Um, I don't like for games to overstay their welcome, and speedrunning something is basically the equivalent of it's overstaying its welcome, because you have to just sit down and practice it constantly and basically memorize everything, so... Yeah. Whatever. I'm not meant to be a speedrunner. I would do horrible at GDQ. Here we go. Thank you for the power points. Hmm, shouldn't underestimate you. Thank you. I'm rich. Hello. <clears throat> Did you want to buy a snack? Revolution Razor? Lighting a fire under her will make her more competitive. Challenge Shive without her knowing I told you to- Oh no, did I do the wrong thing again? I thought we were just supposed to challenge shit. Oh no. You won't beat me, but I need to practice. Hey Shive. Hey again. Like super spicy hot sauce, I will challenge you. Ah, I thought it was just challenge. Doesn't make sense, Fennel. Sorry. Maybe I'll try to get you to challenge me. Yeah. Yeesh. I wish you would just talk to me directly. Whatever. Try to beat my time of to maybe have some techniques I can steal. Um, I, I mean, I don't suppose this is going to be any different, right? So I guess I'll just cut this out because we've seen me do this twice now. So. All right. There we go. I got like a 131. Cool. I think I saw some new ways I can cut down my time. The base will know I'm coming for both of you. All right. What's up? I did it. Did you want to buy a snack? Uh, well, how'd it go? Need her time. She said that she found some new ways to optimize. That's good. Why are you so interested in her racing? Oh, uh, I kind of have a secret rivalry with her. Secret rivalry? She's always at the top of all the leaderboards here at the arcade. I practice for hours and hours since I work here, but she beats my scores anyway. But I'm heading off to college soon. I won't be able to play here anymore. When Revolution Racer arrived at the arcade, I was excited for her last challenge. Chive loves the comics it based, it's comic it's based on, so she was really excited too. She kept asking me when it would be set up. When it came in, I was sad. I realized she couldn't play it because of the controls. Having the high score, knowing I never had a chance to challenge Chive, what kind of high score would that be? An empty one. When she modded the machine to have hand controls, I was ecstatic. Now I can challenge her to one last game for real. Even if she beats me, I want to get a real chance to be at the top of the leaderboard before I leave. Can you check Chive's time for me again? There's a lot of back and forth between you two. Just talk to Chive. You won't beat me, but I need to ba ba da ba da. Hey Chive? Maze will send you. Yeah. 
My time is 1.42 now. I beat his time. Wow, that was fast. Wow, I'm like way ahead of both of you. Can you tell Basil my time? Yeah. No one will beat my time. <laughs> I'm a god. Do you want to buy a snack? Boom. It's our new time. 1.42. What? Already? How can I beat that? Uh, I, I mean, finally. A true challenge. <clears throat> Uh, can you ask Shive what she did? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> just talk, you idiots! Well, this is, really isn't on Shive, it's mostly just on Basil. Yeah, yeah. Tell him I took his advice. But I didn't say anything. I know he wants to know how to go faster. Tell Basil he needs to believe in himself. Yeesh. Yeah, believe in yourself, doofus. No. I want to keep playing telephone with you two. What'd she say? She said to take your own advice and believe in yourself. Maybe I just need to train better? Can you do a race? Maybe I'll see where I can improve if I watch you. Beat my time of 145. Oh my god, again! This is a lot of Revolution Racer this episode. Jeez. Out of here, nerd. Uh-uh. Out. Of. My Revolution Racer house. You're not beating me. Although I did screw up at the beginning. Uh, I don't know, I thought maybe this one would be different or something, so I'm... keeping it in because we were specifically told to beat a certain time. Luckily it's not super hard, it's actually kind of weird for me, um... to be doing best at the racing game. Because, historically, throughout my childhood, I've been awful at racing games, and, uh... Specifically... Um, any forced racing segments in anything, like... Jack and Daxter, that one part in Star Fox Adventures... I was always incredibly frustrated by and was horrible at, so I always hated... When there was, like, a, a little... Forced... Race mechanic. I, I despised it. So, it's funny to me that... Due to my history of playing Mario Kart, which is basically the only racing game I've ever really put any real effort into, um, I'm actually just dusting this one. Like, it's funny. Funny how transferable the skills are, I guess. And I haven't really played any of the newer Mario Karts either. Like, I played a little bit of Mario Kart Wii, but um, it's mostly really is just the DS one. I just played the DS one that much. So... <clears throat> I don't even really have to try to win super hard. Wow, you're really good, Fennel. See where I can optimize my time to claim victory. Give me a second. Yeah, just never let go of the boost button. Yes, my time's not 140. Can you tell Chive? Oh man, this is just a big old adventure between you two and a lot of Revolution Racer, huh? You won't beat me, blah blah blah. blah. Hey. Hey, one second. Basil, get over here. Yeesh, you can come talk to me yourself, you know. Thank you. You got to tell them the new time. Eh, thanks. I'm sorry I didn't say anything to you. We don't talk much, but I always saw you as my arcade rival. I know, you've always pushed me to do my best also. I don't think I'd be able to get these high scores without a rival like you. What? You mean it? Yeah, I'm going to miss you when you leave for college. I, uh... Thanks, Shive, that means a lot. But I don't think I'm going to let your time stand. And watch out for Fennel, he's faster than he lets on. What? <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh-huh, guess I'll just have to keep defending my time then. Thanks, Fennel. You helped me out a ton too. You, you're not defending anything. I dusted both of you. Does that look like the face of mercy there, right in the middle? Here, have this toy EV sprinter. I want a space for it in my dorm. Ooh, thank you. I guess my real high score is the friends and rivals I've made along the way. <laughs> Great. Now let's play some games. I already am let's playing some games. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I guess the, my real high score was the friends I made along the way. Fantastic. Okay, so that was that quest done. Um, so now the only other quest I really have to do is head over to the venue. <clears throat> I also want to just go ahead and finish buying all the Gobobots, though. Since I have the Monet. Wait, wait, how'd you get down here? How'd you teleport? How is that a thing? 
Okay, so I have one of those. I don't have a Mecha Melon. Um, and now I just need to get this stuff. Giant toy for my room. Toy belly pop hammer. Okay, cool. So yeah, now we just got to get all this stuff. I've already gotten all of the... Um... Gobobots. So, cool. We are good. Unless there's one that's, like, not sold here and is only sold at that person outside, Licorice. I don't know. <clears throat> but let's just head out. Go see what else we can do. Okay, the music venue. Like... I don't- I don't see a way to get to the music venue. And that is it, right? Like, our main... Yeah, the main story is like grayed out. Getting mom's lunch. Uh, revolutionary rivals. Oh, wait, was that a main story? It said just... Huh. Okay, I guess that was the main story. Wait, can I not go into my own house? Oh, okay, there we go, there's the option. I want to go check out my room anyway, because, um... <clears throat> yeah, we haven't been up there in a bit. He's trying to get into the zone. What does that mean? I don't know. What? Okay, are, were we just, like, talking about our mom? Like, right, right in front of her? <laughs> okay, so there's the Toy RC car that I got, and there's my Mega Melon. My comic books, yeah. There's my Mega Melon plush. No. Mama Melon. Just makes me think of bug snacks. Mama Melon. All right, and yeah, I think you're something I got to. All right. So maybe there isn't really much I can do here. Have I ever been in here? This is. Shouldn't go in the mom's room. She's going to be home super late from work tonight. Okay, so I'm actually confused about what to do next. Hmm. When was the last time we checked this? Junk, 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 toy catalog. Put down such trifling things and contemplate a quiet life. That was nice. All right, um... Yeah, we do have all of those now. Help Sage to prove you're cool enough, get Basil's base, head to the venue. Okay, but where was the venue? Because they said it was at a particular spot in town and I was like, oh, I don't have that spot unlocked, so I didn't bother. Right? Or is it at an area that I already have unlocked? Ricky Paul's Poffy, what do you want? Am I cool now? It'll be our roadie. Find Licorice and Basil at the arcade and get their instruments, then meet us at the music venue downtown. It's inside the music shop. Barely. So I gotta get to downtown? Hey, knock knock. Hey, stop being weird, sorry. Yeah, how do I get downtown? And you said it's behind the music shop, but... Oh, do we have to take that car, maybe? Is this like a taxi? That's all I could think of. Hello. I race at speed of fast. Eat my dust! Oh. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, I thought you were a taxi, but you're not. Unfortunately. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, because we just don't have a lot of options of where to go. Like, we we are out of options to go to. So, like, I'm a bit confused? Um, over here at Poppy, have we talked about Clean Week? What's Clean Week? It's a week where we help clean up the town. Really? Yep, Clean Week is every week here. What do I need to do? I need to find 50 pieces of trash and bring them all here. Once you get all 50, you'll get a reward. Sounds fun. Okay, so... Bye. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I was thinking, I just had an idea. What if we talk to Fennel? I mean, Fennel, uh, Chive? Like, maybe you'll be like, yo, now that we've done that... You won't beat me, but I need to practice to defeat Basil. Uh, nope, you just say, hey, Revolution Racer, or no. So wait, what do I do? <laughs> Okay, I'm talking to Rue, and we get the option to say, you okay? 
Uh, we keep losing. The Fluff Squad, the Tough Fluffs, my mom. How do we keep losing to every team? <laughs> Your mom. They don't even get our team name right. Uh, did you hear all that? Yeah. Whatever. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to be the worst team in the arcade anymore. It's humiliating. No matter what we do, we keep losing. What are we doing wrong? Playing the wrong meta? Ah! What are we supposed to do? Wait, you're on the Fluff Squad. Your team is great. You train us. But I just started playing. You have natural talents. Please train us. If not, if not, then we'll forever be the laughing stock of the arcade. Fine. Yippee! It'll be best if you train one-on-one -on -one with each member of the Scrub Squad. First me. We need to play more aggressively. We never put the heat on our opponents. Can you show me how to play against a lineup of ranged Gribblebots? You ready to train me? Yeah. Teach me your ways. Okay. Well, this isn't the main story, but I found something to do, I guess. So, I gotta pick ranged. Alright. Cool. And I'm Pine Ring. I guess they make you play this one since it's guaranteed one of the ranged ones that you'll have access to. That gun you have seems very good. Yeah, you guys just kind of got wrecked. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, demolished, in fact, I would say. Would be the better term. Uh-uh. Eat it, nerd. Dead. Die. Death. Murder you all. Boom. Ah, I almost got them both. Darn. My special, if, it, if I'd have just had, like, a little bit more time, that would have been it. Darn. Oh well. We're not in any real danger of losing here. So... Let's just go tend in all of our stuff. Dead. Oh wow, you barely made it. But it's fine, because I killed your friends. Wow, that ninja just destroyed you guys. What? Wow. Okay, get, go away. Uh-uh. Mine. Stupid weird bat thing. Go away, you're not allowed to eat. Uh. Uh. Eat it, nerd. Oh, damn it. They got freed by their friend. Hey, free me, idiot. Ow. Ow. Yeah, it's kind of risky to kill people on top of their allies because then they'll just immediately get popped out. Risky. Uh. Yeah, that, that uh, watermelon axe actually hurts a lot. Uh, boom. Uh, free me, you idiot. Ugh. AI is not nice. They will not help you out. These are all mine. Go away. I know we're a team, but screw you. You don't act like it. Oh, jeez. Uh, save me. I know. I was talking about how we're not a team and everything, but also now save me. Oh, jeez. You have five? Uh-uh. Die. Boom. Okay, that was a bit overkill, guys. That was a bit overkill. Uh-uh. Die. Death. All of you. Oh well. We won. It was a bit closer than I would have liked, but we did win, so... Who cares? And return to the arcade. This is great! I see some strats that I can employ now. I feel like I'm growing. Can you help train the rest of my team? Their names are Sunflower, Bergamot, and Valerian. We could really use an epic training montage. Okay. Well, I gotta help you guys out. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do for the main story. Like, the only other thing I could possibly think of is going home and going to sleep, right? I specifically didn't check out my bed when I was in my room, because I was like, well, it just gave us like a little... ...uh, message last time. Like an examine prompt, but let's let's actually try to sleep in our bed, why don't we? 
mom actually left for work, so it seems like time may have passed. Like, maybe there is actually a time function in the game where you gotta wait for the day to pass, but let's, let's see. Let me try sleeping. it has been a long day. Should I go to bed? Yeah, okay, cool. This is it. Nighty night. All right, so this will advance time. Game saved. Fennel, wake up. I'm up, good. Finally up with the rest of the world. Yesterday was fantastic. Those Tufts must be really feeling the brain freeze after witnessing our sweet smoothie skills. I hate brain freeze. Me too, now that they see this fluff squad is the best team in town. I heard you and Shive hung out afterwards. She didn't give you too much trouble, did she? No, she was really nice. That's surprising. She has always had her nose in some kind of gadget. Usually it takes weeks for her to even acknowledge someone new. And after a while, she becomes the best friend anyone could have. What'd you two do? Modded an arcade cabinet. Sounds like Chive. Oh, holy guacamole. What? Bud said he's still closed. It's already 9.30. Maybe he's putting in some new games? Yeah, no, Mr. Button, like, you know, hasn't been around, right? So I was wondering when that was going to come up. I wonder what they are. Finn, get down here now so we can play them first. All right. New quest. So I think with that, we'll probably go ahead and end this episode of Button City off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.